All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little draft video. Um, we are coming to you between rounds one and two in the NFL draft. And tonight we have rounds two and rounds three in the draft. So what we decided to do today was um, do use two different mock draft simulators and go through without trading who the Niners will pick at 99, 101, and 103 in the upcoming NFL draft. So let's uh, let's get to it right here. Um, first, we're going to use the the uh, draft simulator from um, this is the Pro Football Network draft simulator. All right, so here we go. 49ers on the board. Round one, of course, in the books. So I'll fire through, and now we're into round two, and we're coming up on the picks. We'll see. We'll see who's left on the board here. All right, Jamie Robinson just went. Okay, we're not doing any trades, so let's just take a look at him. Let's see, Detroit, nah, that's well, that's not all that attractive. Vikings have called. They'll move want to move down, move up 20 spots, offering 158 and next year's fourth. So we're going to reject that. We're going to reject both those trades. We're going to reject trades for this mock draft because now we've got three picks, 99, 101, 102, the Raiders pick at 100. Otherwise, it would be three straight picks for the 49ers. And let's look who's on the board and and see where the value really is and who potentially could be staring them in the face in the third round, according to this mock draft. All right, Darius Rush from South Carolina is the highest-rated player on the board, and he's a position of need from South Carolina. That would be very attractive. Izzy Abinaconda is there, the running back from Pittsburgh. Not really a need. I love that player. Jalen Duncan, the tackle from Maryland, is sitting right there. That is a position of need. Jartavius Martin is listed as a cornerback here. He could also play free safety uh, from Illinois. That would fit a need. Uh, Zach Pickens from defensive tackle from North from South Carolina. Jaden Reed, the wide receiver from Michigan State. Tyler Steen fills a need from tack, uh, tackle from Alabama. Owen Papo, Roshan Johnson, a guy a running back that I think they probably like a lot. Jonathan Mingo is sitting right there. Nick Hampton, Byron Young, the edge rusher. Byron Young from Alabama. Trevius Hodges Tomlinson. There's McClendon Curtis is a player that I like a lot. So, okay, so who, who are we going to go with right here off the, start, off the start? Well, let's take a look first at the edge rushers. Nick Hampton, Byron Young, Isaiah McGuire, all sitting there staring you in the face. Um, a lot of people would say go Byron Young from Tennessee. I think that would be a very popular pick with 49er fans. Let's look at the tackles. Zach Pickens, I love Byron Young from Alabama. Uh, let's see what they say about Byron Young. Uh, you know, he I, I, to me, he's probably going to be one of these picks, even though they don't necessarily need that player. Now, cornerback, Darius Rush is interesting from South Carolina, 6'1", 198 pounds, playmaking ability, 33-inch uh, arms. Hmm, that's a tough one. He's, he's a nice player. This kid Martin, Jartavius Martin, is an interesting player as well. Um, from Illinois. Let's see the safety group. Who's there? You got Trey Dean, Ronnie Hickman, Jay Ward, Jarvarius Owens, Jordan Howden. Jair Brown is gone from uh, from Tennessee or from uh, Penn State. All right. So then let's look at offense. Let's look at tight end. Who's, what, what's the best tight end on the board? Zach Kuntz, Luke Schoonmaker, Will Mallory, Payne Durham, Josh Wiley. They're all there. Uh, offensive tackles, Jalen Duncan. You know, Duncan is a really good player. Um, really good player. 6'5", 306 pounds. Gosh, he, that's a tough player to pass up. You know, he he I, I, he would definitely be on the sh on the <clears throat> the very short list. And McClendon Curtis, I think, is a tackle, even though they list him here as a guard. He would be on the short list. But then I'm looking also at these two receivers at the top of the board that I really like, Jaden Reed and Jonathan Mingo. And it's a it's a tough call. Do you go with need? Do you go best player available? Do you go quarterback? Do you need a quarterback? Um, 
do you go defense? Do you go edge rusher? There's a lot of good edge rushers in this in this draft. I think I'd probably lean towards the secondary here. Um, man, it's really tough. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this corner out of Louisville, Katrell Clark, slot corner. I'm taking him. Now the, the Raiders just went with Eli Ricks. Uh, Cincinnati's calling, offering to move down 14 spots. I'm gonna reject that. Falcons are offering their six round pick next year to move down nine spots. That's an easy one to reject. Now we got two picks in a row. So who do you want? Do you go do you go need with tackle? Um Jalen Duncan. That would be a nice one. I to me, I'm looking for greatness here. And I think I'm going I I like the depth of this draft more on the defensive side than on the offensive side. I'm taking Jonathan Mingo. Jonathan Mingo from Ole Miss is a tremendous player. Uh, now that uh, now we're at 102, the Jets are offering to move down 11 spots for pick number 170. I'm going to reject that. So let's talk about Mingo for a second. 6'1", 220, academic All-American, uh, run sub 4'5". Um, didn't have the greatest production, but man, I, I just think he is a he's a really, really good football player. Uh Catrell Clark, you got the slot corner. Now you got a big time wide receiver. You're covered um at wide receiver really going forward. So now I go to all and I can have I can have um Darius Rush, a top corner. Jartavius Martin. I think I'd probably go with Jartavius Martin here. That I'm probably leaning heavily to Jartavius Martin. Do not discount them going with Roshan Johnson. I think there's a very good chance that they would go with Roshan Johnson. Now, do you go edge rusher here? I think that's a primary need. Do you go Byron Young? Do you go Nick Hampton? As I said, I like the edge rushers later on. And I like some of the tackles later on. Um, DeMarvian Overshone, good linebacker. No question about that. Um, you know what? The way this draft is going, um, I would probably go, and I'm a big fan. Well, I'm probably going to go. Um, I'm probably going to go with with Byron Young from Alabama, because Byron Young from Alabama, I think, is a really, really special player. So there you go. Um, this draft mock is going to continue on. And we'll we'll jump out at this point for a second. Let's reject this this trade and just take a look at what we have. So basically, in this mock using the Pro Football Network mock, I want Catrell Clark, a slot corner from Louisville. You got to remember this: the slot corner is more important than your third linebacker. Your slot corner means so much. It's a really difficult position to play. Catrell Clark is just an outstanding player. Mingo. Is is a is a big physical wide receiver who I think is going to be terrific at the next level. Um, that one is not really a need, you know. I could have gone edge rusher there instead, and then Byron Young. I think Byron Young. I mean, you're talking about a 300 pound guy with 34 inch arms who comes firing off of blocks. I think he's an absolute monster. I think I think Byron Young is is a better pick here than the Cowboys taking Mozzie Smith at the end of the first round. Um, so that's what I'm going with in this one. Catrell Clark, Jonathan Mingo, and Byron Young. But not Byron Young from Tennessee, Byron Young from uh, from Alabama. Okay, so let's close down that let's close down that um, that simulator. And now let's go and we'll do the other one. We'll share the screen with the uh, other simulator and that's the mock database and let's see we'll put them in the in the stream here and we'll, now we'll, we'll run this mock through um through a different look and see what uh, we come up with with a different mock altogether okay so we hit start up here and away we go um Let's make sure it's, yeah, okay. So it is, I think it's exactly the, the first round is going exactly the way. 
I mean, they have it here listed as the way it actually came off the board. I'm going to double check that. But when we get to 99, we'll see who's on the board. And um, as far as which is the better mock draft database, you know, it's hard to say. Um, I'm going to say no to all these trades. You know, ta- uh, and this is one that would be so hard to pass up. Go from 99 to 107 and then get a fourth round pick and an additional fourth and two additional sixth to move eight spots. I would normally take that, but I'll reject that. I'm rejecting Seattle. I'm rejecting Atlanta. I'm rejecting Minnesota. I'm rejecting the Jets. Okay, so now we're at pick number 99. Now let's go up and see. Um, let's see what the rest of the draft looked like. I guess, can we move that up? No, I guess we can't. All right, let's just see who's on the board. We'll go with all. Mingo's there. Zach Harrison's there. Jartavius Martin's there. Byron Young, Jaden Reed, Jalen Duncan. A lot of the same guys are there. Jamie Robinson. Now, Riley Moss is there. Uh, these are really good. Dorian Williams is a hell of a player. Isaiah, uh, Isaiah McGuire, Caillou Blue Kelly, Jacorian Bennett, a corner I like a lot. Okay. So that we got a, we got a pretty good handle on who's there's K trail Clark right there. All right. In this particular one, um, I think I'm going with the edge rusher to start and Zach Harrison. Um, just too, just too good. Too good of a player. We'll reject these trades. Too good of a player. Too big, too strong, too fast. Ran 4'47", 275 pounds. I know he didn't produce tons with the Buckeyes, but um, I think Koshera could get it out of him. You got a blue chipper there who could be, you know, just an absolute game wrecker opposite Nick Bosa. So the, I'm starting there with Harrison in this mock. Um, who do I go with? I think I'm going Jamie Robinson here, the safety out of Florida State. Tone setter. You know, the one thing the 49ers really need, an underrated need for the 49ers, is they need not just DBs, they need alphas. They need guys who are true leaders on the back end because they lost Mosley and they lost Jimmy Ward, and those were the two leaders in the secondary. So there's a leadership void in the secondary that has to be accounted for, and Jamie Robinson is a leader. So I'm going to take Jamie Robinson. All right, let's take a look who else is there. Uh, I, prob- I can go corner. I can go offensive line. Jalen Duncan's right there. But I once again, Tyler Steen's there. Riley Moss is there. It's hard to not go with Riley Moss. He's been such a productive player. Jacorian Bennett, though, from Maryland, has better speed. And he would be hard to pass, too. Then there's Jake Hayner there. But, I mean, do you need a... Do you need a um, you know, I I think in this scenario, I probably go Catrell Clark again. Zach Harrison, Jamie Robinson, and Catrell Clark. I think that's probably who I'm going with. Um, I don't see anybody that would make me not want to take Catrell Clark. Jartavius Martin is is a hell of a player, and Byron Young would be tough. But you already got the edge rusher. Do you go Jaden Reed, Jalen Duncan, Mingo? Do I go Duncan, Jalen Duncan there. Um, Riley Moss, I think is going to be a, a, a very, very good pro, but I'm going, I think I'm going with the Maryland corner, Jacorian Bennett. So in this situation, I've got, you know, I've got two different mocks and I've got, you know, basically different, different picks in the first mock. I went Catrell Clark slot corner, Jonathan Mingo wide receiver from Ole Miss and Byron Young defensive tackle from Alabama, who I think is athletic enough to even play some defensive end. That was in the Pro Football Network one in the Mock Draft Simulator or the NFL Mock Draft Database Simulator. I went Zach Harrison out of Ohio State, Jamie Robinson out of Florida State, and Jacorian Bennett, a cornerback. So I went edge, safety, and corner. And in the other one, I went corner, wide receiver, and defensive tackle. So there you go. There's uh, you know our between rounds one and two mock draft. Uh, who should the Niners take? You know, I think... I think after watching um, Seattle get, you know, they've got DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and they just got the Ohio State, uh, Jackson, Smith, and Nigba. You know, you better have good corners, and you better have good coverage ability. And to me, Catrell Clark is a phenomenal cover guy, and Jacorian Bennett is as well. Um, so that's one. 
Then you look at um, Philadelphia and you say, wow, you know, look what they've got going on their defensive line. Maybe you need to match up on the offensive line. But to me, the big the big problem here sitting at 99 is you can't reach for an offensive tackle. Well, you get burned when you reach for an offensive tackle. So let's look at the board um, as far as offensive tackles. You know, they don't pick for 53 picks after 102. Their next pick is 155. But there's offensive tackles here on the board that I really like. Wanya Morris, um, uh, Ryan Hayes, Joey Fisher from Shepard, John Ajukwu from Boise State has a wrestling background. I like him quite a bit. Um, and then further down the line, Alex Palcheski. I like him a lot. Uh, so, you know, you've got, some, you've got some interesting offensive linemen there that you could get later in the draft. Now let me see the interior offensive line. Voorhees, a lot of people think that, you know, he'll be a good value. He was a good player at SC, and then he got hurt. Braden Daniels is a good offensive lineman. Curt, uh, McClendon Curtis is there. Uh, that's probably my number one offensive lineman uh, desire is McClendon Curtis. Antonio Maffi, the kid who went to Sarah High School in San Mateo, he's he's down the board, but he's a tough guard. So there there are some interesting offensive linemen that I like later on. But if it gets to this point, to me, I don't want to reach for an offensive lineman. If there would be one that would have, I would have interest in, it would be Jalen Duncan. Um, but And then as far as the other mock draft, if I went and looked at what offensive linemen are available in this, off- in this mock, um, they have a Juku from Boise State, um, Palcheski, who I really like. Uh, and those are the two tackles they have that I really like. Let's see on the guard spots. Um, they do have Antonio Maffi, Antonio Maffi, uh, Nick Saldaveri. Uh, a lot of people like him. I'm one of those people. I think he's a really, really good player. Joey Fisher. So those are the guys that I kind of like. So they're, the, the offensive line are still there. Um, as far as tight end, you know, I could have gone with Shoemaker or Payne Durham, but I think that's a little early, and I think that one of those guys may fall to the fifth round. So I may be looking at tight end in the fifth round. And uh, and then quarterback-wise, Clayton Toon, DTR, you know, if they wind up moving Trey Lance, then one of those guys easily could have been, I think, probably either Toon or DTR or Hayner would be their pick maybe at 102. So you got to factor that in if they've got some kind of deal working for Trey. But if not, and if they don't have a deal working for Trey, there's no reason to draft a quarterback at all. And... Um, and and I and I like I like that you know what we have. I mean, um, getting a, getting somebody in the defensive backfield to me is a must. Getting some more pass rush is a must. Now, in one of these, I didn't get an edge rusher, but the edge rusher class is so deep. I mean, so incredibly deep um, that I, I love the chances of getting somebody late. I mean. You know, just just to put this in perspective, if you go to the NFL mock tra- uh, mock draft database simulator, you know they have still on the board at you know in the in the fourth round here, KJ Henry, uh, Junior Fajoko, Lonnie Phelps, Ball Donato from Pittsburgh, kid from Italy, Thomas Incum, Tavius Robinson, Brenton Cox, B.J. Thompson, uh, all those guys can play. I mean, all those guys are are, are good players. I think. Um, and there's more than that. I mean, if you go down this line, Cade Hall, um, I guess in this mock, I guess Jose Ramirez is not on here. Wait, where's Ramirez? He may, maybe already went. But then they also list some of these guys as outside backers, um, and some of these guys that they list here as outside backers are really pass rush. Tyrus Wheat from Mississippi State, they list him as an outside backer. He's not an outside backer. He's a defensive end. So... Um, so you know you gotta you you gotta take a look at the at the list, but ultimately, I got Jacorian Bennett, Jamie Robinson, Zach Harrison in the mock draft database, and Katrell Clark, Jonathan Mingo, and Byron Young from Alabama in the ProFootballNetwork.com uh, NFL draft database. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being a proud sponsor of the Krug Show. Check them out in Corte Madera and Emeryville, and thanks for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.